where do we make our incisions for our flaps? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a video that is going to outline exactly where we make those flaps. And I'll be right back with you. Here we'll discuss the landmarks for surgical extractions in dogs when we're talking about flaps and sectioning. And when we're demonstrating this on these skulls, what we're doing is showing you the outline of where the incision should go. And keep in mind with the vertical and releasing incisions, they are a continuous incision. But when we're working in the sulcus next to those teeth for our envelope incision, those are not continuous. Those are stab incisions at about a 15 degree angle under the gum line to hit the bone. And once you hit that bone, you're ready to move on to the next little section as you carry that forward or backward. So the first landmark here is that distal aspect of that third premolar right there at the line angle. We're going to diverge that incision slightly to keep it out of the way of that root and not get too far up into that infraorbital foramen. Then for the envelope flap, again, a little stab incisions uh, versus this continuous demonstration. A little stab incisions back starting at that third premolar and stopping there at the mesial aspect of that first molar, just going right on to that first part of that tooth. And then there's your section for the separation of the vestibular and distal root. There's your section of the palatal root from the vestibular root. And when you turn that over, you look closely, you can see the actual furcation. There's gum tissue in that in the live patient. And then for the canine tooth, the maxillary canine, we start in the diastema between the canine and the incisor, carry that up and parallel to the tooth about to that level, which is about half of the length of the root. And then for our envelope incision, start right back there where you started the incision for the vertical release. Go all the way back to the distal aspect of that third premolar. That's the same approach for the mandibular canine as well. So when we look at that, we start right next to that incisor and we carry that back. Again, a little stab incisions all the way back, 15 degree angle with the scalpel. And we're going to stop this again at that third premolar. For the mandibular first molar, we're going to start at the mesial aspect of the fourth premolar there. And again, a little stab incisions back caudal until you get to the distal root of the second molar. And then for sectioning, the easiest place to go, making sure you're in the furcation is right here, just in front of that distal cusp. 